What's good, fam? This is your man, Jimmy Conway, BeatsForLyricist.com, music production tips. In this video, I'm going to show you how to record MIDI using your VST instruments, okay? So let's get started. First thing, open up your MPC software. Uh, couple, There's a couple of steps you want to do first. First, come up here where it says MPC, go to Preferences. Make sure your audio card is set up, your audio device. Right now, I'm just using my Scarlett, uh, Focusrite Scarlett 8i6. Uh, my link will be in the description for that if you want to pick that up. I'm going to check my buffer size. Put it down to 128. You want your buffer size as low as you can go without clicks and pops. All right. And we may see that in this recording too. So, all right. Next, go to where it says MIDI. Make sure that your MIDI controller is showing up here. If not, make sure you download the latest drivers for your MIDI uh, controller. I do have a, uh, I have an MPK Mini, and I have a Nectar Impact LX61. This will be the one I use today for this demonstration. Make sure that the track button is clicked on. So cut it on, cut it off. There you go. Then come down here and make sure that all your plugins are loaded up. So make sure all your plugins are showing. So click scan new or rescan all. Make sure just click scan new just to make sure you get all your new plugins in and they show up in your VST folders or your audio units folders. All right. Once you got that done, click OK. Then from there. Uh, I'm going to start with a piano part first. So I'm going to come over here where it says drum program. I'm going to go two over, hit plug-in. Now from the plug-ins, you could uh, get all your VSTs. So, um, so let's find the piano. Go to VSTs. I'm going to go to my Arteria bundle. My link will be in the description for that too if you want to pick up the Arteria bundle. Uh, look at all these instruments here. All replications of the real thing. I, I mean, for $500, I found this was a, a personally a better value than the MPC bundle. But the MPC bundle, check it out. See what you like. Get your, you know, check, get your free trial on. Um, so let's get our piano, piano five. Okay, I'm gonna change that piano sound real quick. Yeah, I'm hearing clicks and pops right now. I'm going to try to lower this buffer size real quick. All right, let me try to record that in. All right, hopefully I could do this in one take. We'll see. Make sure you set your tempo. Now you can record with the timing correct on or off. I'm g now I gotta think about it for this piece. I might wanna record with it on. I'm gonna record with it on just to try it out real quick. Normally I don't use quantize on my instruments, but I'm gonna try it on this piece here. Go over here to your tempo, set your tempo, and you're ready to record. Hit record, hit play start.
So I'm just going to go with that real quick because I forgot the rest of the piece. <laughs> uh, I ain't forget it, but I'm just trying to make it real simple. So we got two bars here of pianos. Let's go find the piano chords here. Okay. Delete these. So let's play it back. Okay, now we're gonna speed it up. Okay, so you have your piano part. Now, we'll give it a name. Oh, things you can do. Hold on, we'll give it a name first. One step at a time. So, with your MIDI parts, you can take a part, you can take a piece, you can stretch it, like I'm going to do with these, just to make it one full bar. I can highlight the I can highlight all of them and stretch them out. Now this determines the amount of uh how can I say this? The amount of the way this is going. I don't know. Is determined by the uh, quantization. So if I have this set to 64, I can lengthen this or shorten it by that amount. So that's a little bit fine fine tuning. If I have it set to let's say quarter notes, it'll move by quarter notes. If I have it set by 16th, it'll move by 16th. Okay, so this is a good way to get, uh, if you know your pieces are supposed to line up to the bar like mines are, and they're not, you could lengthen them or shorten them how you see fit. Okay. Oh, let me get rid of this so I can have more real estate to see. Here we go. Okay, so now you got your piano part. We'll go to track two. Hopefully this acts right. We'll go over here to our drum section. Let me just see something real quick. Okay, good, that stays the same, perfect. Go to track two. And now I'm gonna find a drum part. A drum, I'm gonna find a drum. Okay, so I'm going to start laying this drum part down real quick. Okay, one thing I like to do with the hi-hats is a 16 level with the velocity. So I'll hit 16 level and make sure that I'm set. Oh. I want this to be pad three. Okay, so I'm going to try to record this little hi-hat real quick. So now, A1 is my lowest hi-hat velocity, and A16 is my highest, my highest hi-hat velocity, all right? It just gives it a way that your beats will not sound, um, they won't sound stale, so to speak, so... I 
I didn't like that at all. I forgot I had the quantize on, and that needs to come off. For me, anyway. So, let's. Okay. Okay, and I'll name that hi hat. And this is basically how you record MIDI into your DAW. Um, you just gotta learn how to play uh, your different parts with rhythm. The rhythm that, you know, rhythm, it's hard to explain. You just gotta learn your instruments and how they're played. That's the best way I can explain it. Um, I'm, I'm self-taught in keys. I didn't have a trainer. Uh, I, I finally got a trainer online, but that, you know, but most of my uh, keyboard training is self-taught. Um, let's see. Let's go to we go to track three. Add our snare. Hit record. We'll record this MIDI in. Yeah, I apologize. The computer's acting up with all the stuff running in the background. Now I'll go to track four, and my kick. Okay. Okay, so yeah, this is the basics of recording MIDI inside your MPC software. I hope this was helpful. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's any more tips I can show you before I leave. I showed you the lengthening and shortening of, of your the lengthening and shortening of your notes. Oh, you can also let's go back to the hi hat part. You can also change the velocity down here. I can mess with the velocities. Uh, a couple weeks back, I showed you my video on probability and ratchet. Go check that out. I'll leave a link in the uh, description below. So yeah, you can change the, um, the ratchet. Yeah, so yeah, that's basically how to record MIDI. Uh, I don't want to keep you holding. I don't want to hold you. Uh, if you have any questions about anything on the MPC software, uh, link me in the description below. Link me in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. And uh, yeah, I'll leave a link to everything I use in the description below through Amazon links. Those will be my Amazon affiliate links. Also, if you're new to the channel, I'll leave a link for my free drum kit below. Make sure you go grab that. It's a free drum kit from me. That's my thanks for watching the video. I appreciate you all the way through. Um, also, check out the, uh, you need to check out some of the drum kits from Loop Masters. They got some new joints on there, some fire joints. Whether you're doing hip hop, whether you're doing house, whether you're doing um, R&B, they got everything. Go check them out. 
And uh, I'll leave a link in the description below for that too. Link master, uh, Loop Masters and Loop Cloud. Check them both out. Fire. All right. This is your man, Jimmy Conway, BeastFlyricist.com. How to record MIDI inside your MPC software. Tutorial, and I'm out. Peace.